valuable experience working with several multinational corporations and startups. His inaugural entrepreneurial venture was Barcotronics India Limited, which became India's pioneering barcode company. The company specialized in IoT, RFID technology, and smart card manufacturing. Notably, it achieved the distinction of being the first barcode company in the world to go public through an IPO. His professional journey extended internationally with work in the United States, the Middle East, and Sri Lanka, focusing on the utility sector, products, and solutions. Sir has played a pivotal role in handling national ID card projects. I request everyone to be seated. Another 15 minutes will go close the session. Please be seated. I request everyone to be seated, please. Thank you. His professional journey extended internationally with work in the United States, the Middle East, and Sri Lanka, focusing on utility sector products and solutions. Sir has played a pivotal role in handling national ID card projects in the UAE, Sri Lanka, and Africa. He contributed significantly to the unique identification authority of India, UIDAI, and was recognized as a biometric expert. Sir's career continued to evolve with the roles of hand automation, grey logic technologies, pay GST, and pay my watt. He was also a founding and strategic member of Arban Kisan, a startup selected for the prestigious Y Combinator program in Silicon Valley. Arban Kisan pioneered soilless farming using hydroponics. He is also involved in companies like Metamorphosis, Sendfast, and Matrix Seafood. His entrepreneurial journey led to the establishment of Beanfield Consulting, a company dedicated to helping startups and emerging businesses thrive. Beyond business, Sir is deeply involved in various institutions and associations. He serves as the director and president of the IIM Bangalore Alumni Association as well as the secretary of IIM Pact in Singapore. His contributions extend to multiple papers on topics like hydroponics, RFID, and AIDC technologies. Currently, Sir chairs TIE Grad, a global representation of TIE Hyderabad, and serves as a director of the Osmania University Foundation. He is also a mentor director for IIM Vizag, IIT Hyderabad, and NMIMS, where his guidance through global programs has significantly benefited students and aspiring entrepreneurs alike. Now, I'd like to call upon our guest of honor, Dr. Varna Prakash Hedi, sir, to address the gathering. Good afternoon, everybody. I can't see any Josh here. So, see, I want to tell you, when you ask hi and hello, there's no choice for you. Huh? You should listen for 25 minutes. My speech is there. So, doors are closed. Please close the doors. We are not allowing you to go outside. There are uh, screens also outside there. Don't worry about it. And after speaking, Malanidigar, uh, Matar, in Darwaz, I don't know what to speak. But I will still speak because I prepared for the speech for you guys. There's no choice for you. So please give a big hand to yourself today. I'm still not able to hear actually that Josh. I came here five, before pandemic, I came here. I would able to hear that good Josh from the students. I'm not able to hear that Josh actually. In fact, I was so unhappy. When somebody walked in, your teachers and principal walked in, nobody clapped. The only clap came when the placement officer came. Four people clapped. Please clap for yourself, please. That also gives a lot of energy to go and eat food also. Guys, today is the day. Even I was sitting in Usman University College, like you, and today your era is different. But I was very confused. I was in a different state of you know, thinking, you know, what is actually happening? What am I going to do actually? But today, era is entirely different. As Sri Manaridi Garu mentioned it, it's a different area. Everything is in your hands right now. And it's a great honor to be with all of you today and very auspicious day of 4th September. So I just checked out what is 4th September. It's actually 36th Monday of this year, it seems. Very auspicious, that's eh? 63. And you are here today. Give a big hand at least now. Parents, at least you clap here. Yeah? I'm sure your students have eaten something in the morning breakfast. 
And I'm more than happy here in front of you with a lot of excitement for another couple of more reasons. The Saraswati Putra, who's sitting here, Professor Santosh Kumar Garu, he's such a great personality. I want to tell you when I came here three, four times to bring them industry experts to this college. When I walked into his college room, his office room, I could only see the temple Vatavarnam under I would able to see that place actually, resonating all over the place, right from the college. And such a great institution that he has built up. And uh, Chairman Garu Mari Lakshman Edi Garu, I thank you so much that uh, I would able to hear him being with him as such an athlete at 77 years. He's talking about how he's able to do you know, triathlon, like you know, cycling, swimming, and running. It's not an easy thing. You know, the example, the amount of things that he's able to do it and keeping himself fit, I think this college has actually happened. 22 three years, you know, that's a great thing. Big hand to him, actually. <laughs> and more than important, today I'm here and standing in front of you, and all of the dignitaries, all of the uh, people here, I'm honored especially the Minister Garu. And this is the day which I'm very happy to come to your place because we have conquered the moon. You all know Chandrayaan 2, Chandrayaan 3, Chandrayaan 1, what happened? But even then we failed 1 and 2, we were successful in 3. So that taught us failure is a stepping stone of success. So don't worry about it. Just do it is our mantra should be there. And this is the day I'm very proud and nobody believed, you know, somebody can go to sun. We have already sent Aditya to sun, actually. So India has now gone somewhere else. I had a goosebump all over the place when I heard in all the world news TV channels about India. They're talking about India everywhere. Malari Digar Chepel already mentioned to you about how people are talking about India. It's absolutely true, everything that he said today. In fact, he has actually captured all my speech. Nothing else is there for me except to share certain things to students today, what I have gone through. And I have to tell you, when I came to this college here, I bought a lot of industry people, experts here, and I was able to see a lot of uh, innovation happening around the place. In fact, I was very happy when Sandesh Kumar Garu actually extended to me when I wanted to write something, a book, he actually helped me. Thank you so much, sir. Our MSc book is going to come down in middle, medium and small scale industries. We are doing a lot of research work. I'm sure I'll take help from your students also, how this is actually coping up. And I want to tell you about Malari Digar. You have heard about him, a lot of things. But I really want to tell him what he is so great. But you all seen him today. I met his son, Badra Reddy. He joined in one of the Thai uh, uh, organization. And I thought he was the minister's son, he must be, you know, very uh, uh, different personality, being a you know, minister's son and all those things. He was absolutely humble to the core. This actually showed how humbleness is there, actually. How he has built his empire, being very humble. And I met him and I asked him, like, you know, I was talking about, why did you come here? You know, you've got so much of industries and everything. He said, only one thing to me, Anna, I want to understand how industry is performing. I want to see how I can help my students. That's a day, and we had a very good friendship. And I had one of the meetings that I went to Bombay, and I went to, went to Bombay, I met the TCS head actually, TCS Ion head, the chief there, and TCS Ion head from the Telangana and AP and South India head came here, and uh, we were talking about it, and they invited me to talk about it. And they said like, you know, can you come and tell me one institute? We wanted to start something called gaming technology, which is next era would be a gaming technology, and we want to develop something in an institute. Is there any institute, uh, Bhanuji, they asked me at Bombay. Then I did mention about this college. I said, sir, there is Manda Reddy Group institution. You should come down here. It's part of Telangana, where 50,000 graduates graduate every year. That has stopped them, everybody. 50,000 graduates. Then I mentioned all the history, whatever Malari Digaru just mentioned it. They were surprised. And uh, when he told me, after meeting us, he came to Hyderabad and he met his college institution here. He said, why don't I invite you to our lab? 
which very dignitaries people go there at uh, TCS lab, and we all went there. And that day, this man, Malari Diwar, I want to be very honest with you today, because he is not here, very brutal honest with you. He was only thinking about how the students will get best of the best from this entire uh, TCS. I was amazed. I mean, he's not talking about business or anything. He's talking about how his students will get the best jobs, how innovation will help actually, what can we do together, and how TCS can help across your place. And believe me, this year, in Kavi, in, uh, probably I was talking to him just now, you'll have one of the best collaboration, world's biggest collaboration along with TCS with this institution. And let's give a big hand for you for that. So students, I want to tell you the business side, because I've come on the business front actually. You had heard about our east side. I'll tell you about Hakikat, what actually happened in PSG. The business has seen three revolutions. One, industry revolution, which is called as Roti Kapra or Makan. You know, where survival was, where my father was actually working on that. It was survival. There was a second revolution came, information technology, where my brothers in the 80s, it came there. And uh, there were also some branding companies, Coca-Cola, other companies started. And they were fine, you know, to get jobs or get changed with the different jobs. And they were worried about the children's education, EMIs, you know, house and everything. So industry revolution, survival. Here, something went down very well. Then the third revolution actually came, which is actually, whatever Malan Edigaru mentioned, it is your revolution, that is a social revolution which is your revolution actually. It's called as a digital revolution. And today, you're in the part of digital revolution. But also the most dangerous thing, I'll yeah, talk about other things, probably talk, they all talk good things about getting your jobs and everything to you. Remember, this is an AI world. I'm standing in front of you with 5,000 employees in my company, and we are struggling to see how this chat GPT is actually making change in the technology. You have to be hired of this technology. As I rightly mentioned about the story of Ramesh and Naresh, I mean, you should choose whom you ought to be there. That's the only way that can make this happen. Thank you so much for a wonderful story, sir. That is most important to all of you people to remember. If you have to struggle hard and work hard, today, internet is available there. You can learn, unlearn everything available there. The weapon is in your hands. And people were talking about, you know, sir talked about, you know, parents and everything to you. Nobody is going to motivate. Let me tell you very honest with you. The day has gone. Motivation, giving a 10th class, 7th class, 5th class, 6th class, intermediate, that's all gone. Now, who will motivate you? Only you guys have to motivate yourself. You have to go to the mirror and motivate yourself every day. Nobody is going to motivate you. And you have to come back and understand what can be happening there. And learn something which is very important. Learn whatever they mentioned about, you know, you don't miss these classes. I want to be very, very honest, brutal honest with you. You just miss these classes, a lot of things is going to miss across. So participate, be there in that place. Now, this social and digital revolution, whatever has happened, we are struggling today in our office. You know, for what? The new generation or the old people who are working in my company are struggling to face the new generation. The new generation who are coming to our office today, they talk about no code, low code. There's no code, sir. Why do you want to use it? There's a drag and pull I will do and design and give it to you. They're all learning the new technologies. The older guys are actually struggling. But again, there's a restless in this new area, people. Whether it's good or bad, you have to think about it across the picture. Today. You have to motivate yourself every day and get things online and keep learning every day. And you have to sharpen your skills. I'm telling you, there are so many courses which have come back here today. Remember one thing, technology changes every six months. Every six months, the technology, new technology changes across. You have to remember, have you ever seen that chat GPT heard about six months back? Nobody heard about it. We only heard about Java and other you know, .NET courses, other courses come back here. Today, all of a sudden, chat GPT has come. And what does chat GPT does? It does everything. I don't require anybody else today. 
If I want to write an email, I want to write an, say, to minister or uh, in a government officer or, or in some coding, the technology, they all go to ChatGPT, everything is done. So what else can you do it? You have to make ChatGPT learn. ChatGPT walk, ChatGPT run. That is there in your hands to you today. I rightly mentioned the tech is going to change actually. This is exactly where you have to think about it. Remember, this technology will change every six months, so don't get worried. But only thing that I can tell you is sharpening your skills is very important. Now onwards, I'll keep telling you some little stories. I mentioned to you that I'm going to take some time from you. Any addiction is bad, he actually mentioned to you, but I really want to tell you, anything too much of work is very bad, too much of TV is bad, too much of internet is bad, and it's up to you to choose what is good and bad and ugly. It's there in your hands. The doers have gone today till 11th and 12th class you will be taken care of. Now, next four years, 1500 days is your day. You need to ensure, ensure that I am going to be an engineer, a world-class engineer. Remember, the whole world looks out our engineers only. I go, walk down. I have seen, personally, when I went to US a decade back, and I mean, recently when I visited the US and other countries, I see a remarkable change in people. The respect they give to Indians, the respect they give to technology guys, we are there. People are sharp and, you know, next three decades is our decades. So don't even worry. It's like Tirupati Devasaram temple. Like, you know, when you go to temple, you want to watch, the people will push you there, right? Automatically you see a God. Even if you don't study, you will walk through that today this year. The only thing is, you only have to be focused, razor focused. I want to tell you this very, very clear. Be focused about that work, whatever is given to you. As I rightly mentioned, the college, you know, the project works. That is very important. When our placement officers go there, you know, what do they ask them actually? More than anything else, percentage? We ask them about the project they have done actually. Their interaction they have done. Their communication skills we see actually. If you do a great project and you get about, you know, let's say 98% and you're not able to communicate with my other people there and my partners, other people, what are the use? So communication is also very important. You have to understand how you are able to mingle with people, talking to people, your students, your faculty members is very important. And uh, there's one more thing, second lesson that I want to talk to you about, you, about the beautiful sloka in Mahabharata. What I want to tell you about Arjuna, this sloka before goes to Arjuna. You know, all Arjuna is a mighty warrior. And uh, Arjuna actually came back and said, like, you know, he had a... Uh, but he used to always love Dronacharya. He used to respect his Guruji. I want to tell you everything to And somebody said, like, boss, you are Arjuna. You are such a great guy. You are a wonderful warrior. You got a beautiful wife. You got so much money, kingdom and everything to you. I don't worry about that. You know, the Guruji who comes to Dhani Atai, why you are taking care of him? You know, he says only one thing there. Na Rajyam, na Dhanam, na Kalatam. We we'll never do anything to them. Kingdoms can go, ministers, you know, election happens, something new thing happens, they lose the post. Beauty, with the age it goes. Money, even you have about 100 crores or 1000 crores, it can just wash away like this. But knowledge is power. Nobody can bully, nobody can burn it actually. As you give so much, you will get so much from this. As you sow, so shall you reap. So please, my dear friends, today I want you to now stand up and give a big hand to all the professors who are sitting there. Please, everybody. All including the parents and everybody. Big hands to them. And you remember this, while you respect your principal or your college, your faculty, thank you so much. And uh, your lecturer is walking there and talking to you. Give that respect. You are not going to pay them, right? But they are giving the knowledge to you. Please remember the very important thing is if you don't respect your gurus, nothing is going to happen to you. You will miserably fail. The other important thing that I want to tell you today why am I standing in front of you? I come from a very lower middle class family. And uh, as I rightly mentioned, you know, I went to Mother and the house also. It's very true, whatever he mentioned, every word is true. Nothing is wrong. Whatever he said, probably he might have missed it. But every word, what he said, is must. And true. And I, myself, eight member family, a quarter, 
to South and uh, an engineer, you know, I became, I went to Uspar University. But at least I was thinking in mind, you know, I mean, quickly I see rich people coming out of the place, you know, uh, countries, they, I don't know what to do. But one thing that I used to do always in the college is, I used to go and attend every lecture that used to happen in the college. I used to go and meet every people, anybody in the industry guys comes here, I go and spend some time in the meeting room. With respect to whether it is chemical technology, though I am a chemical technology engineer, with electrical, electronics, computer science, you know, everything. I used to go back in civil engineering, also I used to go and stand there and listen to somebody who's talking about it. This actually gave me the whole process to think out of the box. I joined a company, I went to MTEC to IIT Mumbai, then I am Bangalore. But still, you know, I was unhappy. I was looking for a software company. I was, you know, regular software people, like a uh, group people, I was having back and everything to you, but there was something was missing. The missing was, you know, I could not even understand this, but rightly, Malani or Chetna too, I had a good friends, I had people with me, I had mentors with me, I had lecturers, teachers, professors all of with me. One day, I went and saw a barcode. How many people know barcode here? Students? Please move your hand. That is what happened. You all see barcode, right? Super Bajaj and everything you have seen there. So I was there in 1997. They started my career. And I saw a barcode and I went to somebody and said, Boss, can you read this barcode? There is a barcode scanner in the other There was no barcode scanner. Trust me, there was no barcode scanner. I went and I found out there, where should I get a barcode scanner? And somebody said, It was not happening to be there anywhere in Hyderabad. And I found out I went to Bob and other people and understood, you know, how does the barcode thing work actually? And I established in 1997, October itself, a company called Barcronics India Limited. And I took that challenge. Nobody, I'm not going to belong to any of entrepreneurial family. But I said I took a challenge with my good friends who came along with me, people who believed along with me, and I started this company called Barcronics, the first barcoding company in India. When I started this barcoding company in India, Thank you. And uh, you know, we were working and we were struggling hard. And uh, sometimes, you know, after uh, one year, I couldn't even pay salaries. I was worried. I was, my father was like a tiger. And uh, you warned me, you know, you never listened to me when I wanted to get a government job and you went and did as work. Well. Hey, good hell, somebody scolded me. But my mom, she's not there, she died. But she supported me. And she told me a beautiful story which I want to tell you today, which actually resonates all your life today. She talked about a king story. A king where he was all the devatas he talked about king. You know, why they said like, you know, and uh, one day Shani was, Shani Deva was walking, and he said, hear this story. Hey, Papa, is here, Radha ke baare mein kya baat karte hai? He said, well, hey, king to maa purush hai. He's such a great guy, you know, Ashtarashmiris are all there with him only. Uh, this Shelly says, okay, boss, this guy, why are you talking Let me go and touch this guy, Raja. And he comes to Raja and says, uh, he goes like a you know, poor man and says, Raja, Piksha on the he will go back and ask him. And uh, all the Rashmi Devis who are there with him, they says, boss, he is a man, be careful, don't help him. But he is king, right? He says, go ahead. And uh, he helps him, of course. And he says, what do you require? He says, like, you know, I am very hungry. He says, okay, Anna Lakshmi. So Anna Lakshmi is Lakshmi Devata, one Devata is gone for the place. So he takes food and very happy and he goes to there. So Raja, you gave me Anna Lakshmi, but you know, I don't have money. He says, Dhanna Lakshmi, he gives Dhanna Lakshmi. Then he says, Dhaja Lakshmi. You know, Sampur, everything, all Lakshmi has gone there. And this man says, okay, I conquered everything, all Lakshmi are there with you. Now this become, you know, he is a helpless man. And uh, he says, goes back there and he says, all these Lakshmis who are there with him and says, uh, Boss, we are not going to come because uh, there is no devil Lakshmi, I'll not come, go back and ask them. So they, he goes back and he says, Boss, look, you have given all the Lakshmis to me, seven Lakshmis. Ashta Lakshmi, the devil Lakshmi is there. Why don't you give the devil Lakshmi to me? That is when he puts his uh, hand there and says, Look, I will not give devil Lakshmi to you. So Dhyayam should be there along with you, always. When he never gave Dhyayam, all the other Lakshmi Devis are with him. They said, Boss, when the other Lakshmi, my sister is not there, I will not be with you. And they all came again to the king actually. That is the power of Dairi. Please resonate and have a dynamite. And my mother told me that story, which went back. And I said, when I could not even pay salaries to you, and I went to Tirupati Devastana table, Balaji Mandu. 
I know just to take his prayer, right? Now, my mother said, okay, go, come here and come back. But I went to Balaji Mandir temple and I gave my, uh, you know, lectures from there. I met one officer and I said, I told him the story about how barcoding is going to help. You know, the story of barcoding, that man was listening to me. I never knew who was that man. He was the hero. He was in the train, second AC that day. And he was sitting there and I took a train and I was mentioning to him. The man heard about him and uh, he said, okay, fine. He gave a good darshan to me, uh, apparently. And then after four days, I got a call. I think Mr. Dhanu, why don't you come down? There is a problem in our uh, crowd management and Laddu token prasada token. They have a barcode solution. You will come and give it to me. You said something is available there. Trust me, my friends, I have been there in 2002, Balaji Temple, Tirpati Temple, when I was struggling for business to happen. You know what happened? This man gave a crowd management solution. We have designed a solution on technology front in those 2000. You know what are the design solutions? You have seen wristband, for barcode wristband, how many have seen? Oh, I'm very happy. So we are the people who designed that barcode wristband solution. That's called crowd management solution. And crowd management solution, we gave it. You know how much business that we have done? 480 crores business. Lord Balaji gave this to us. That means, if you work really hard, there is some power, something will give back to you. And as a young child, I used to always curb myself. You know, when I used to go to Tripati Devasana Temple, when I want to see Balaji Mandir, I know people used to push me, right? I never see God. My people say, go to God and pray something, and I will pass 10th class, I will pass intermediate. I never saw God for 11 years. By the time I see, I had Bhagla Devi. I'm standing with that baby there. I never saw. So I used to imagine how, you know, uh, Venkatesh was saying, because they used to push me so fast. But God gave me that so much chance to me when I did a business of 450 crores plus business. I could able to walk inside that temple. Nine years, I could able to see Lord Venkatesh right in front of me. That is the power. What I want to tell you today is, if you really put in your efforts, the solution was what we gave, that what Mother Ritikan mentioned about you, you have to be very innovative, curious, and start thinking out of the box, a solution out of the box. And you can give solutions everywhere in the world. A solution where technology, what we have given to Barco technology to Tirupati Dharasaman Temple, has completely changed. Can you imagine? Makkah, Masjid people came all over the place to Tirupati Devasthalam and they took the Tashram and they also understood how this, you know, the crowd management system has going to happen there and we have also implemented RFID solution in Makkah Masjid. That is the power. So what I want to tell you here is, think out of the box. Encourage your children. And today we have got, you know, how many uh, unicorns you got? How many, all people, everybody knows unicorn here? Unicorn, the startups which are actually happening, the biggest business which is happening there. One unicorn, unicorn is 8,000 crores. One billion dollar becomes one unicorn there. Until last two years before, we were there in almost 47th position or you know, uh, 96th position we were there. We were never there in top. It was America, Germany, Japan, China, other countries there. Do you all know them something today? India has got 120 unicorns. 120 unicorns. I'm not joking what my mother did mentioned to you. Go and think about entrepreneurial journey, journey from your side. Don't be a job seekers, job givers. There is an innovation lab. There is something in a, you know, Apple Innovation Center at your own college. Now become like a thali. You know, you should now, to make this happen, you think how a thali looks like it. Thali has got, you know, pachari, there is papu, there is pure thali, there is a papa, there is rice and everything to you. As in the college, when you come back here, there are so many groups. Go and join the groups. You should become very innovative. You should become creative, mingle with people, students, everybody there. That's going to change your class to your future. So become like a thali and start learning things. Your parents and parents, I want to tell you, please encourage them. Start reading. Whenever you read something, go to the newspaper and see some startup is happening, very great. Share with your children, share with your child what's actually happening there. That's going to change the whole world actually. Today, nobody, as I rightly mentioned to you, nobody is going to stop us. Now, I want to tell you one more thing, the power of networking. 
all these things can happen with only power of networking. Please, today onwards, and today this is the first day of your college, make sure that you meet three new friends. That is the lesson that I want to give you. Try to see before you leave this college premises, you should know three new people, new friends' names at you. Where are they from? What are the people doing? Don't be in silos. You know, very in your own group, as I already mentioned, he said about those on and friendship across you. Of course, I would mention to you once again to you, don't be in silos, don't be in the same old group. Think out of the box, go and meet new friends, new people, new teachers, new lecturers. Go back and see how civil engineering is happening to you. A computer science graduate is also helping civil engineering. It's all a collaboration. Don't think only computer science is going to do a lot of books. Today, world has got highest number of CEOs who are come from mechanical engineering, not computer science. There's a lot of things happening. So think about that, what you can really do. And one more thing that I would tell you about is being smart. Your goals should be very smart. Smart is nothing but specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Prepare that. Accordingly, also I want to tell you, you should know about your SWOT analysis. What is your strength? What is your weakness? What are the opportunities available there? And what are the threats that will happen to you? Like your chat, keeping the threats, how to overcome that, and what are the opportunities which are available there? This will actually change you. Trust me, you don't tell anything to anybody about your SWOT analysis. Go back to your house, go back to your room, sit down and write a SWOT analysis about yourself. You can definitely overcome all these things. Whatever weaknesses are there, I'm okay, I'm watching TV more, I'm watching mobile more. Okay, you will come out with these two. And everything is there in your hands. You don't expect that somebody will come back and tell you because this 1500 days is your time. And of course, time is running around, but I want to tell you one more reason about being curious, being creative, and most importantly, communication before I close down. What does this communication mean by it? Friends, I want to tell you today, I'm right on the front of you and standing there and talking to you, all of you and running a Nepal, 5,000 people, companies, and uh, projects that we do actually. I come from the Telugu Medium School. And uh, people used to worry, they used to laugh at my English language. I used to never bother. I only bothered about what I can do out of the box thinking. So communication, I all learned from people like you, my friends, my teachers. And I also want to tell you today, I want to tell you, I want to tell you people, every student have to learn one special language. Either it should be a Japanese language, a French language. And trust me, my friends, I opened an office recently in Japan and Australia, and about almost 140 people are recruited in Japan from here. And those people, the only thing language which we saw is the barrier was the Japanese language. Today there are a lot of universities, IFLU or other institutions there teaching the languages. As a hobby, you learn languages. I'm trying me and trust me, I'm telling you guys, if you know the Japanese language or French language, any other language, other than the language what you're learning, in four years it's like a cakewalk you can learn the language. You will become the best expert. And I can one small advice I want to give over there. Learning one language more. And most importantly, there are a lot of innovation centers. As I rightly mentioned to you, we also got teed up. We have for women. You know, then we got rich, we got you know, TSIC. All these institutions are there in Hyderabad. The biggest incubation center in the world is right in Hyderabad. Please take permission. Or you take your faculty member, go and meet those faculty students there. The startups which they're doing wonderful work. Youngsters who are just a you know twelfth class, you know, you know, degree and just a pass out guys are running companies of thousands and thousands of crores, hundred crores of companies, I started with the brilliant ideas. Go and meet them there, understand what they're doing to you. Learn those projects, be part of those projects. And this will definitely help across you. And uh, these things, I really wanted to focus more. And uh, of course, most of my, what I wanted to mention to you, all of you, as even by your, your principal girl, your group director girl, and the Malari girl, but I really wanted to leave you with one thought, which actually love it actually. I want to read to you. It's in Hindi. Zindagi hai to khwab hai. Khwab hai to manzile hai. Manzile hai to fasle hai. Fasle hai to raaste hai. Raaste hai to mushkile hai. Mushkile hai to hosla hai. Hosla hai to vishwas hai. Because 
फाइटर हमेशा जीत जाता है बी लाइक फाइटर